Now it's jazz, the place is roaring, all beautiful girls in there, one mad brunette at the bar, drunk with her boys. One strange chick I remember from somewhere, wearing a simple skirt with pockets, her hands in there. Short haircut, slouched, talking to everybody. Up and down the stairs they come, the bartenders of the regular band of Jack and the heavenly drummer who looks up in the sky with blue eyes, with a beard. He's wailing beer caps and bottles and jamming at the cash register and everything is going to the beat. It's the beat generation, it's Bayat. It's the beat to keep, it's the beat of the heart. It's being beat and down in the world and like old time low down. And like in ancient civilizations, the slave boatmen rowing galleys to a beat. Well, mid 1970s. We're in the mid 1970s again. My mom was in college at that time. And every now and then, her and her girlfriends would want to go out and, you know, to the bars. Uh, especially college students, you know, they want to go out and party or whatever. And for whatever reason, they couldn't get a babysitter or something. They would take I and my best friend Boyd with them. And um, I just remember this uh, one particular time uh, they went out in Kansas City. And this happened uh, more than once. But... Um, they wanted to go out downtown Kansas City, so they took us with them because they couldn't find a babysitter, I guess, for whatever reason. And um, they left us in a car or whatever, some sort of dive bar they went to downtown down there. It wasn't a club at the time. At that time, I think most of the places closed at uh, midnight. But they would leave us in the car, I and my friend Boyd, who was my best friend back in uh, grade school then. And they would come out now and then, bring us a bag of peanuts and one of those, uh, was it 12 ounce, the, the big bottle of Coke, you know, they had back then. A glass bottle, not these plastic ones they have now. But uh, they would bring us a bag of peanuts, chips, and some Cokes, and leave us in the car. <laughs> and we'd, we'd sit in the back seat of the car and just visit or uh, play games or whatever. And we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have the internet. Uh, they wouldn't. They didn't. Need, they didn't even leave the keys on f to play the radio. So, at that time, one of our favorite shows that uh, our parents used to let us watch was Saturday Night Live. You all know Saturday Night Live. Back then, I guess it was Dan Aykroyd and those characters. But we would sit in the back seat and talk about Saturday Night Live, which used to let us... Uh, watch sometimes and we would do we would redo the skits that were on that show we would go through all these whole dramatic <laughs> scenes of you know, we were grade school kids but we were going trying to do our own comedy skits to keep ourselves occupied in the back seat I just remember that being really fun. Uh, not, you know, I think about it now, I'm thinking, man, <laughs> our parents just left, or my mom, or <laughs> our moms just left us in the car to have a bag of chips and some pops and peanuts while they were inside partying, getting drunk, and probably have to drive back home drunk. <laughs> but I didn't think about that then. I was just, we were just kids and didn't know any better. 
but they left us in the car and they went inside and did their thing with uh, whatever but little did they know we didn't actually stay in the car the whole time we would get out and wander around downtown uh, Kansas City down in the alleys and everywhere and we uh, <laughs> It was a rainy night one of those times and we went down this one alley. I think we went pee behind a trash can or something. And there's the, uh, we were laughing, making our racket and whatever. And there's this person up above in the uh, cobblestone building or whatever it was. Opened her window and said, hey you fuckers, be quiet down there. You know you always see that shit in the movies while that happened. <laughs> To us. <laughs> but I don't know. I just thought I'd kind of come on here and talk about it. Because I... Some of the stuff I talk about on this uh, Radio Crazy, I don't talk about to anybody. But, um... I'll talk about it to everybody else. Anyone who will listen to all this crap. Now, later on, this has to be... Uh, years later in like the late 80s Boyd my best friends from grade school moved in with me in an apartment in uh, Topeka Kansas I lived below I got an apartment below my grandmother who lived on a in a uh, old brick building on 7th and Tyler um, it was my. I, I had. I had. A, I worked as a nursing aide at that time. This is after I graduated high school. Uh, I divorced my first wife, and I actually got my first bachelor pad. <laughs> but it was in this old uh, building. It's probably built in the 1920s or 30s. It was like two, three hundred dollars a month for a uh, one bedroom pretty much a broken down building that had cockroaches and all kinds of shit. Uh, now that building is boarded up. It's still there, but it's all boarded up, condemned and all kinds of, all that craziness. But we had an apartment down there, me and him together for a while in the uh, late 80s after that. And we still talked about those times in the 70s when we did those little skits of Saturday Night Live and all that. Eventually I lost track of him from about night, the late, he, he moved away with his girlfriend from the late 80s and I pretty much have not heard anything from him since. You know, I don't even know if he's alive or not. I just thought I'd come on here and talk about that craziness. Maybe I can find a poem on my phone here. See if I can find one. Pretty sure I have one soon. Oh, here we go. I'll just read the last one that I wrote. And here we go. Have you ever looked at the cold side of the sun? Well, I'm over there in my 80s members only jacket and acid wash jeans. My hair feathered watching you squirm down Marlboro packed inside high school skipping hearts. My flamed windows on low fuel burners. My fire lost to suffocation's exhaust fumes. From our lives spent on nothing tones of boulevard tires. Let's roll. Colin over and out, and weirdos unite.